Hi guys, it's Auntie Cuckoo. Today we are using these laundry baskets you can find at your local Dollar Tree. We're using them to make some affordable holiday decor DIYs and a couple of fun hacks. I love a challenge. My family said, I bet you can't make a lawn ornament, one of those things you put in your yard for the holidays from stuff from the Dollar Tree. And I said, challenge accepted. We're using laundry baskets and a few other items you can find at your local Dollar Tree to make a very large lawn ornament. Any guesses what that's gonna be? Now I am showing you everything that I used. I used a bucket, some dust pans, a charger, some zip ties, tablecloths, some white tape and rope, of course, some gloves. Now I did not end up using this scarf and I did get six of the laundry bins from the Dollar Tree. First, I am stacking them and connecting them using my zip ties. This is really easy. You're basically going to be stacking them in a tower. So start with one upright and then one upside down. This is the third one that I am connecting upright again and I connected each of them to the one below it with four zip ties basically at 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock. When you stack your baskets, just make sure that the handles are not right on top of the other handles. So you're gonna to wanna to stagger them just a little bit and that makes it a lot more stable. The other thing is you may wanna put a few rocks or something heavy in the very bottom just for some stability if you're gonna use this outside. I am gonna give you guys a ton of examples of how you can use this when I show you the finished product. So I'm just finishing up my zip ties and once you have all of your baskets connected, you should be left with something that looks just like this. Now you don't have to tighten your zip ties so tight that it sort of makes them unstable, but you do want to connect them firmly enough to stay together. So side note, I forgot a step. So what I was going to do in the middle section was place both of our dust pans with the handles poking out. So to remedy that, no problem, no fuss. I'm just gonna undo two of my zip ties. I'm gonna stick the bottom portion of our little dust pan in the bottom, and then I'm gonna decide where I want the handles to poke out of, and then just screw them in. It was really no problem at all, but you could do it the correct order. Now, I don't know if you're seeing it, but I'm seeing arms, and I'm seeing arms that you can position in different ways. Now, I love these. I think that they're great because they stay in place. They're very lightweight. You could also use plungers if you choose to. Next up, take your tablecloth, find a large workspace. I'm using our kitchen table and take your um, shape. I think we all know what this is going to be. Take your snowman and lay it down onto the tablecloth. Now, what we're going to do is see where each arm falls, we're just gonna make a tiny little slit with our finger to sort of slide on his clothing, if you will. So basically, we're gonna cover it with two tablecloths. There's a tiny little hole, you don't want it to be much larger. Then grab your duct tape. I bought some white duct tape from the Dollar Tree, and then sort of just pretend you're a doctor or nurse fixing up a patient in a hospital bed, putting on a bandage. You're basically gonna use that duct tape to secure your the tablecloth to your laundry baskets. Now you're gonna to wanna to do that around the rims where they meet together with your zip ties and just secure it every here and there. Definitely do a little bit around where the arm pokes through just to give it a little added security. And then you'll be left with something like this. Now I took my second tablecloth draped it over the other side of my snowman and poke through my second armhole. For the ends, I used a zip tie to sort of gather it and then I cut off the excess tablecloth, pulled off the zip tie and then used that gathered section that it created to cover it with some more of our white duct tape so it'll be totally flat and flush on the bottom. This is what we've got so far. So next up, we're gonna create the details and give it more of a shape. For that, we're gonna pull out our white rope. 
we're going to take a little bit of it and wrap it around where the head of a snowman would meet the body of a snowman we're going to just tie a nice little knot and make it nice and secure and then just trim off any extra rope and then you're going to do that again where the body meets the bottom now let's move on to the hat for that we're going to be using this bucket from the dollar tree i removed the handle i took my scissors these are utility scissors i use them in the kitchen all the time just to cut off the rim of the bucket with the spout on it then we're going to take our charger i love this charger from dollar tree we're going to flip it upside down and then we're going to take our bucket that we have cut off evenly flip it upside down and now we suddenly have a hat for our snowman i am going to be adding some ribbon around the edge now i hear if you place the hat upon his head he'll begin to dance around but uh this frosty did not begin to dance that's okay i think he's looking really cute the only thing is i wish the hat was a little bigger he's got a bit of a big noggin i did leave the charger side unpainted because i just think it looks really pretty and this is what we are left with now he is not finished we need to add a few more details i did want to mention you could absolutely put christmas lights and string them through your baskets if you wanted him to light up next we need some hands for frosty so i'm taking these gloves from the dollar tree i'm taking some stuffing i have on hand you can always use an old pillow anything you have around you could even stuff it with things like newspaper and even grocery sacks i've used for things like this just making sure that his hands are nice and full and then we're going to attach them to his body for that i used two black zip ties one on each hand to just secure the glove around the edge of our little dustpan and it looks so good i'm so happy with it now i wanted to give him a scarf but this one from the dollar tree was too bright so you'll see in a minute i added some ribbon from my craft stash ribbon i've had forever he did need a face so i took out some felt and i cut out a carrot nose now you could go to the dollar tree i hear there's a carrot in the toy section in one of the little grocery bins they sell if you wanted it to be 3d but for this i'm just hot gluing on felt for both coal eyes a carrot nose and a cute little coal smile now if you wanted to you could get more detailed with the eyes and he could look like a famous snowman who dances around with a frozen princess um, if you did that you could definitely use it for a birthday party or celebration surrounding that movie if you know what i'm talking about wink wink and here is our finished snowman so i did add some ribbon as a scarf i just liked the colors a whole lot better and i also really liked matching it to the ribbon around the trim of his hat now i'm not sure what i could have used from the dollar tree for a bigger hat if you have any ideas comment down below and let me know now this is not high-end decor but this was a challenge posed to me for my family and i think he turned out great you could use this for many things from birthday parties to classrooms office decor during the holidays or even something like a trunk or treat if you're going with a holiday theme now we are going to be doing something in this video for halloween but i did want to mention you could vary this design to be a over six foot tall ghost for halloween if you wanted to and it would be pretty much the same without any of the securing without fussing with the arms and all you would need were the two black eyes again you could use things like this outdoors if you wanted to light them add some christmas lights throughout the baskets and you can always secure them with some lawn anchors they sell them at walmart and online you can get them in metal or plastic i'm really tempted to transform this little snowman into a ghost and have him here for halloween for our trick-or-treaters my kids were all scared by him at different points throughout the day i kind of moved him around the house and just kind of had fun with him so just know that once he's completed including the hat he is between six foot three and six foot four he is quite tall i am not so to me this was an amazing feat to create a snowman with things all from the dollar tree and you could use this in so many different ways but for now let's get on to our next diy and this one is a high-end decor dupe for this one we're going to use another one of our laundry baskets from the dollar tree we're going to cut off the bottom just using my utility scissors super easy to do you're going to be left with something that looks like this now i was curious 
Now, without anything added to the rim of the laundry basket, it is 17 inches. But what we're gonna do is take a white pool noodle. It can really be any color. I just had a white one. It went well with the color of the laundry basket. And you're going to split it on both sides so that you end up with a half of a pool noodle. Now, the reason that I'm doing that is because I want this to be A, super lightweight, and B, flat on the back so i didn't want it curved on the back this is going to be a wreath and i have been looking around for a wreath for our front door of our new home that will go with what i'm doing outdoors and the ones i like are from pottery barn anywhere from 150 up to 200 dollars. i found one i love on etsy for 250 and I just can't pay that. So we're gonna make it, we're gonna secure that pool noodle, just the half of it to the front of our laundry basket using some more of our white duct tape, just securing it here and there as we go along. Now the reason I wanted to use the laundry basket for this and not just a pool noodle is I want it to be really nice and secure. I wanted to give it that definite shape. Now a pool noodle would be nice and light, but I'm hoping that this will be used for years to come and I'm matching it to all my outdoor lawn decor for the holidays. Now one half of a pool noodle will not cover the entire rim of a laundry basket. So take the other half, cut out a little portion that fits right in to finish it off. Of course, secure that with some more tape and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is gonna be different for everyone. This is what it should look like finished. So basically, I'm gonna cover mine with burlap because that is gonna go well as any color scheme goes for what I'm doing now. You could use ribbon, you could not cover it, you could cover it with anything that you like from a feather boa to a tinsel garland. You could use some traditional green garland if that's what you wanted. I am doing ornaments on top and a lot of gold. So I figured if any of this peeked through, the burlap is neutral and would not be super visible or noticeable. Once you have secured whatever you're gonna use, just go ahead and tack that down with some more hot glue, trim it off, and now we're ready to start the fun part. Now, here is what I am using to cover my wreath. I picked up four of the miniature or smaller ornaments from the Dollar Tree. They come in the tubes. I'm not gonna be using the pink, and in summertime, they have clearances online. I picked up each of these containers of ornaments for three dollars a piece at walmart now you could use any ornaments you want you may want to use some old ones you have on hand you may want to pick up some more from the dollar tree whatever you want to use feel free i just got these for such a good price i ended up using the red and the gold ones and just alternating the color as well as the different textures. There were plenty of textures to choose from, lots of sparkle, which is not my traditional look, but it's gonna be perfect for our front door. And I just kept adding red gold, red gold. If I had a glitter, I tried to go with something different next to it. And this is how it turned out, but it is not complete. Next, I'm gonna take these smaller ornaments from the Dollar Tree and sort of dry fit them, figure out the best places to put them in any little gaps or spaces that could use just a little something. And for that, I am just using the hot glue to secure them to the other ornaments and adding one at a time into any little place and securing it with more glue. Now you wouldn't have to use just ornaments, you could use bottle brush trees, different little decorative pieces. For me, this is the look I was going for. It fits my front door perfectly. Now the circumference of it, once it is finished with all of the ornaments, is 23 inches wide. It's perfect. It's just the right size. It is super lightweight and it is completely flat along the back, which is exactly what I wanted. I did a different door hanging last year and it was kind of a nightmare. It was always problematic when I opened and closed the door. This one is so light that I think it's going to be just perfect for this holiday season. Now, I know that Halloween's around the corner, so let's get on to our final DIY. For that, we're using a laundry basket from the Dollar Tree. I'm actually using two and this little orange pumpkin bag I picked up 
for just a dollar at Walmart. Now you may want to put some rocks in here before starting, like I mentioned with our snowman. You're going to take your laundry baskets, make sure to offset those handles so they're not on top of each other, and then secure them with some zip ties. Now I decided to use a tablecloth just because I wanted it to come across as really orange. So I used my white tablecloth and then I covered the laundry baskets with this pumpkin bag. Now, here's a full confession. If I had to do this over again, I would skip the white tablecloth. I would skip the pumpkin bag I got at Walmart and I would go straight for an orange tablecloth because the bag was so transparent. What I did is gather it along the top using some zip ties to create a faux stem, but the face on this, I mean, this bag is so huge, it was positional. It was hard to get it to look like the eyes and mouth were in the right place. So I did decide to go ahead and use a little bit of tape to secure a paper bag over the top of the bag to give it sort of a real true stem look. Now this is something that is perfect for trunk or tree, maybe a children's carnival. I think you can light these and use them and they'd be a whole lot of fun. But like I said, if I had to do it over again, I would have done it totally different. I hope I gave you a few ideas how to use some laundry baskets. Here's a few more videos I've picked out for your viewing pleasure. I'll see you back very soon.